Hey there, welcome. It's your host Amy from Panventure and I'm super, super happy to have you here for another review. Recent days have been very busy in regards of my schedule because me and my team are pulling all-nighters left and right in order to get the new HQ launched and ready for everyone. So we will have something special soon. Now let's get back to our review. For today, I choose to showcase a font pen which I think it's quite underrated from Visconti and it's a very very special font pen. So today we are going to talk about the Visconti Medici which was launched in 2017 and it's a very very elegant and beautiful font pen. Actually in 2017 it won, <laughs> it's not easy for me to pronounce uh, this uh, words but I'm gonna do my best so it's called the trophy the elegance masculine and it has a lot of apostrophes and e's and e's and let's just hope I'm doing it correctly let me show you the font pen so it's the one right here and this is the Visconti Medici from 2017 and oh boy time does fly when you're having fun it's 2021 so four years since this font pen was launched, God, I'm old. This is the first one, which is launched with palladium plated trims. So we have silver trims. The second one was the, if I'm not mistaken, the rose gold trim version, which we have today. And the other two variations was the blue one and the yellow one. The blue one as well we have here today. The yellow one, it's not in stock, so I'm going to show you all three of them. I'm going to walk you through all of the details. Then we will go into a size comparison and we will have a writing sample. Let's start with the presentation. This is the box that you will get your Medici in once you order it. This is the new revamped box from Visconti. I want to move the cardboard sleeve, open the box, and this is what you will find inside. This is the Visconti Rose Gold Medici. Under it, you will find a certificate of authenticity and warranty card. This is not a limited edition fountain pen, so there is no numbering on it. And also, there isn't any ID card. Let me put the box aside and get into showing all three colors of this font pen. We're going to have them side by side. This is the first one, the 2017 model. This is the first variation with the rose gold plated trims. And this is the blue one along with another Medici in a more, let's say, sand yellowish color for the material. Also gold plated trims. This is the last variation. At this moment on our website, you have the palladium plated trims version available the rose gold plated trims available this one the blue one is available on consignment i'm selling it on behalf of a customer so if you are interested in finding out more about this font pen let me know in the comment section down below or just go into the consignment section on our website you can read everything about this specific blue pen I'm gonna base my review on the rose gold plated trims. I'm gonna alternate with the close up pictures in between all of them. So let's start with the details first. On the finial, we have the new medallion, the new Visconti medallion, and this is detachable. So basically you can remove this finial using a magnet and you can substitute this finial with a bunch of uh, options from Visconti. You can pick from name initials, zodiac signs, semi-precious stones and this way you can personalize your Visconti font pen. Moving further we have the clip and this is the old time known Visconti Ponte del Vecchio clip and actually I'm going to go into more details regarding this aspect and this clip was designed by using the image of a Florence bridge so uh, this is very synonymous with the place where these font pens are created in the Visconti Florence workshop. I know a bunch of people don't like this design, but I don't have anything against it. It's hinged, it's beautiful, it works well. I haven't had any problems with one of these clips. On the clip, you will find laser engraved Visconti. It's not enamel like in the Homo sapiens version. And we have the shape and the material. On the cap, we have a 
beautiful, beautiful pattern. And this is a new material launched by Visconti in 2017. It's an acrylic, but it's called Acro Silk. And actually, it's a very special color. This brownish color is like nothing else before. Beautiful, it's swirly, and each and every individual pen has its own pattern. For example, you can watch closely here, and you can see that usually it has a darker side and a lighter side, and both of them align perfectly. And also on the blue one, it's a alternating play of colors using gold dust, and also blue. It's impressive, it's beautiful. This is a very, very interesting material, at least for myself. We have the cap shape, which is faceted, slightly, slightly tapering in towards the finial right here. Thickest point is here. This uh, shape is very, very ergonomic and the facets are very well polished. We number eight facets and these facets are inspired from the baptistry that is near the Duomo in Florence. And that baptistry is called the Patisserio di San Giovanni. I have some notes here and I'm peeking at them. This is quite interesting in regards of shape. I love this uh, aspect and ratio of facets and the way they are polished. They are all working so, so well together. Although we moved quickly into the details, the name of the fan pen holds a lot of importance. Medici. Well, this fan pen is dedicated to the Medici family, which are very wealthy and they are known to be huge, huge patron of arts in Italy. And they shaped Florence to its core. So actually we have a small nugget of history there into the name. Let's move further and we have the cap using a hook safe lock mechanism. This is very, very convenient. You can use only a quarter of a turn to uncap the fountain pen. This is very safe. It has a tactile uh, feedback to say so. It's very, very satisfying. And the snapback of this mechanism is interesting as well. I'm gonna put it next to my microphone. It's beautiful. We are greeted by the nib. Currently, we have in our website this three font pens in regards of colors. We have uh, the Medici in palladium trims. We have the Medici in rose gold plated trims. And we have the blue uh, Medici right here. This three font pens feature the 18 karat gold nib. The only font pen that features the actual 23 karat palladium dream touch nib is the blue one and we have a medium. This is the only size available for the blue font pen. On the rose gold plated trims, we have the new 18 karat gold nib and also on the palladium plated trims as well. This is a beautiful nib which is made in-house by Visconti. You can observe on this nib the beautiful pattern. We have Visconti 18 karat 750 and the size. These nibs are available in a few sizes, extra fine, fine, medium, broad and a 1.3 millimeter stub. For the stubborn extra fine versions there is a bit of uh, a price bump because these are considered to be specialty nibs from Visconti. These nibs are powered by plastic ABS feeds. Together with the nibs are friction fitted inside a plastic collar, forming the Visconti nib unit. Now let's see how ergonomic is this font pen. This is the way I'm gripping the font pen. As you probably can spot, this is what I consider to be a perfect shape. It's not as long as a homo sapiens. It's perfectly balanced. It doesn't affect the way it's faceted and the section is very, very ergonomic. The section has our glass shape, thinner in the middle and uh, slightly flared on both ends. It's not too big, it's not too small. Everything works well in design and ergonomics for the Visconti Medici. Then we have the hook safe lock grooves and this capping mechanism comes with these grooves right here near the section. I have to give it to Visconti. This is one of the best bands and the engraving on it is spectacular. I'm gonna move to a few of my notes right here. On this band we have a few important aspects and those are not laser engraved. I think it's 
something uh, very interesting and I want to use some close-up uh, frames just to see what's all about. We have Medici, the name of the font band. All around this cap band we have the what is called Fleur de Lis and the Fleur de Lis is a representation of a lily, a flower, but it's taken from the Medici coat of arms. It's very important and uh, it's beautifully integrated in this uh, barrel band. In continuation from this barrel band, we have the barrel starting. There is no step ups, nothing whatsoever. We have the barrel starting its faceted design. I don't know if you can spot this, but it's not completely straight. There is a bit of a tapering starting from this point towards the piston knob. Again, the barrel features a beautiful pattern of brownish colors, gold, a lot of chateauians and worm colors. If you are someone like me, I like to associate worm toned colors with rose gold or gold trim, but I'm also known to go different routes. Different routes, you have the silver colored trims with the worm tone brown body. The facets are splendid and very, very well polished. So there isn't any hiccups or there isn't anything to comment about this uh, shape being um, not executed perfectly by Visconti. Moving further, we have the barrel ending at this ring right here. And this is dividing the barrel from the piston knob. The end finial is uh, what I would call a slightly dome uh, flat surface. And there isn't any sharp edges, nothing whatsoever. Let's talk about the filling system. And on the Visconti Medici, you have a power vac. And this is how it's going to be operated. You unscrew the end knob, you pull out the rod, you submerge the nib plus uh, the section into ink around this level and you push down the rod with the piston forming vacuum behind the piston. Once the piston reaches uh, the lower part like this, vacuum bursts behind the piston and ink is sucked up through the nib section and gets into the barrel. Hope I explained that correctly. We don't have a double reservoir power feature on this model and I don't know if that is important to you. I don't have a problem none at all and this are the features of the Visconti Medici. Now I think it's time to put it side by side with different font pens so you guys can understand the size and all of that. Then we will have a writing sample. I'm going to use my personal Visconti uh, Medici, this one right here. It has a 23 karat palladium dream touch broad nib. After that, I'm going to share some of my personal reflections and opinions, pros and cons regarding the Visconti Medici and we'll end the video. Here we have the Visconti Medici standing next to other pen models. From left to right, we have Visconti Homo Sapiens Chianti Shire, Leonardo Momento Zero Grande Coffee, Visconti Medici, ASC Bologna Extra, and Leonardo Momento Zero Deep Blue. Visconti Medici measures 145 millimeters capped, 130 millimeters uncapped, 170 millimeters posted, and the total weight of the font pen fully inked and capped is 42.5 grams, and uncapped and fully inked is 29 grams. Here we go with the writing sample. We have the pen. And this is the Visconti Medici. The ink, why not? Let's go pink. And we have color verse red shift. The nib is 23 karat palladium dream touch. And this is a broad and just for a reference I want to show you a 18 karat gold broad side by side and this is a very interesting nib but as you can see it's more true to a broad size than the actual 23 karat palladium dream touch nib which is a very fat and juicy broad nib so let's get back and let's check the wetness of this 23 karat palladium dream touch nib and it's a gusher 
this is Tomoe River paper 52 GSM so it glides effortless now I would like to show you the natural stubbish aspect of a broad nib and this is how it looks on the Dream Touch nib now let's check the broad 18 karat gold and this has the same aspect but it is a little bit more tamed it's not that obvious like in the case of the 23 karat palladium dream touch nib now let's analyze some normal figure of eights for the dream touch nib and let's try to flex it a little bit it's quite soft and it's going to have some line variation although it's a broad nib now let's do the same with the gold 18 karat gold nib and this is normal it's quite a beautiful and finish broad nib it's not that broad now let's apply a little bit more pressure this is only dipped so it's a dry ink it has lime variation a little bit less like in the case of the palladium 23 karat palladium dream touch nib and now let's do the famous sentence so the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog beautiful outstanding performances from the 23 karat palladium as well from the 18 karat gold nib which is very smooth it is a little bit more stiff but not in a bad way it's pleasant it has a hint of a feedback it doesn't skip it doesn't hard start and both are beautiful welcome back i hope you enjoyed this writing sample and let me tell you that the 23 karat palladium dream touch nib is awesome i like it a lot it's a bit stubbish and i think all broad nibs including the 18 karat gold ones will have that slight stubbish aspect to the way they are riding but it's smooth it's wet and the new 18 karat gold nibs are very similar to the palladium dream touch nibs let's see what do i find very attractive on the Visconti Medici. First of all, it's the material that hits you like a train. First look at this font pen, you are going to be blown away by the material. This brown material, also the blue one, this acro silk, which is the name that Visconti is using, it's phenomenal. Uh, the way the colors are in a unique way on each and every font pen is what i like a lot i've seen a lot of different patterns uh, we have swirls we have lines we have layers it's random and that is what intrigues me in acquiring a visconti medici the possibility of having multiple trim colors is as well nice and we have palladium plated which is silver color we have rose gold and we have gold on the blue one i'm missing the yellow colored material i think if you are still deciding to get a Visconti Medici, now is the time when you know they are still in stock. Probably um, in a few months uh, or the next update from Visconti, they will say something like it's not going to be available anymore and that's it. And that is the time they are going to go up in value and they will be desired and looked for. And this is from past experience that I have in this uh, industry. What do I love about this font pen more? Actually, the size and the shape. The size is very interesting and intriguing because it's in between an oversized and a pocket pen. So it's very practical. You can uh, take this font pen with you everywhere. For example, this is a Leonardo sleeve. It fits very well in the sleeve. It's not a girthy pen, it's not a weighty font pen. It can be used uh, posted or unposted. In both ways, it's balanced to perfection. So if you are posting your font pen, this is the one to get. If you are not, again, it's going to appeal to you as well. Now, one aspect that I consider to be of importance for some or for not that many, I don't know but it's worth pointing out. The Visconti Medici doesn't feature a double reservoir 
on the filling system. So you have a vacuum filling mechanism. Uh, like in the case of the Visconti Homo sapiens Bronze Age, the ink quantity and the volume, it's not that big. You actually need to do a double fill in order to get more ink or at least uh, a full ink barrel. There is a video that I've done and explained how you can do that and get a full barrel of ink out of a Visconti power vac. I'm gonna link the video up here and you can check the video and see how it's done. If you only do one plunge like so, there isn't too much ink in the fountain pen once you get that done. So you need a double plunge in order to get more ink. If you repeat this procedure and do a full barrel of ink, that will hold you a lot. That's what I have for the Visconti Medici. If you're interested in acquiring a Visconti Medici, down below you'll find the link. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. This will help me a lot. And if you are interested in supporting me with doing videos like this, subscribe to the channel by clicking here and turn the notification bell on. And if you want to see more videos from me, click on this one, enjoy, watch it. My name is Amy and I'll forward seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye-bye.